One of my life goals is to reduce pain for patients that have pain, and all of us have pain during our lifetime at some point, uh, and also to reduce the, the social consequence of the current treatment, of, with our, which are mostly opiate um, compounds. The opiates have been used for thousands of years for pain control. They're excellent for post-surgical pain and physicians uh, prescribe them for that during surgery and after surgery to relieve pain. The patients asked for more and in the past they were given more and became addicted and we now have this opiate crisis. Currently we have a small antibody that we believe will be able to go to the clinic uh, and it will be able to reduce or reverse pain in patients. The small antibody that was um, worked and developed by the Drug Discovery Center next door and I designed this small peptide and the, my collaborator made an antibody to it. And the small antibody is to the modulators of pain. So these modulators uh, actually reduce the signaling in the pain pathway and in the, the cortical regions of the brain that receive the incoming pain system information. As we see on TV, the, the new migraine medications are monoclonal antibodies. This one is even smaller. Uh, the small antibody is able to cross into the brain system and it, we've localized it exactly in the places that not only in the trigeminal ganglia, which is uh, receiving this information about pain in the face, and the antibody we've detected in those same regions. So we know it's getting to the regions and it's helping to damp not only the pain, but also it appears from the genetic profile that it is repairing, it's able to repair itself back to normal levels of sensation and that the um, depression and anxiety never develop. So we can potentially severely reduce the, the problem, especially here in New Mexico, which is again has the highest opiate death, opiate uh, affiliated deaths. So that is the biggest social issue and then not to mention that uh, at least 40% of the people worldwide are suffering from pain uh, in various degrees, and some in severe, severe pain and debilitating pain, plus the social uh, disability costs to our nation. The hope is to have this antibody made by a company. That application, if when it is patentable, then the, the UNM Rainforest Innovations will market that uh, nationally. This is a life goal that I never thought I would see, that I could not only try to understand what causes pain and how to diminish pain, but then to actually have found a collaborator here at New Mexico and together we've made this small antibody and it's being sent with this company. As of this week, they have duplicated what we have done and they believe that that can take this to the FDA. It's, uh, it's been a lifetime goal.